And Jody Arias is telling a Phoenix TV station she wants the death penalty. She was convicted Wednesday of first-degree murder. The killing of her boyfriend five years ago turned into a trial that captivated the nation. Today, the jury returns to decide if Arias lives or dies. 48 Hours correspondent Maureen Maher has covered this case since the beginning. We, the jury, duly impaneled and sworn in the above entitled action upon our oaths do find the defendant as to count one first-degree murder guilty. There were tears of joy and grief inside the courtroom as the verdict came down. Outside, a crowd erupted in cheers. Drawn there by the high-profile trial that has revolved around sex, lies, and the gruesome murder of Travis Alexander. His one-time girlfriend, Jody Arias, testified for 18 days, but failed to convince jurors it was self-defense. Legal experts say her ever-changing version of events proved insurmountable. The jury couldn't reconcile these different stories because they could not have been more different. So the challenge for this jury was, where did they find the truth in Jody Arias' story? And they simply could not do that. In police interviews played at trial, Arias is heard claiming her innocence. I didn't kill him. I didn't take his life. Jurors then heard Arias tell 48 hours two masked intruders had attacked her and Alexander. Later, she admitted that she had shot him in the face and stabbed him more than two dozen times. Would you agree that you're the person who actually slit Mr. Alexander's throat from ear to ear. Yes. She claimed Alexander was sexually, verbally, and physically abusive and had attacked her the day she killed him. The jurors didn't buy any of it. Friends of the victim say we may never know the full story. And we'll never get the truth out of her, I don't think, because she'll distort it anyways. I mean, only Travis will know the, the full truth. The jury is now set to determine whether Arias will get the death penalty. In a new interview, Arias said she'd prefer death. I said years ago that I'd rather get death than life, and that still is true today. I believe death is the ultimate freedom, so... I'd rather just have my freedom soon, as soon as I can get it. Maureen Maher is with us now. Um, this is just an incredible story. What is next for her? Well, it's not over yet, Nora, because the jury will meet today, the same jury, to start uh, discussing whether or not she should face the death penalty. Any women on death row in Arizona? There are three right now, but they have not executed a woman in Arizona since 1930. Wow, incredible. All right, what does she want? She would like the death penalty. That's Black what she off. told us four years ago, and that's what she told another reporter yesterday. Mm -hmm. Maureen Maher, thank you very much.